Plate Tectonics by Kate O'Donnell. The Earth is made up of layers. Each layer has different properties. For example, the outer core is the only liquid layer. Scientists organize Earth layers by either their composition, what they're made of, or their mechanical properties, how they move. The lithosphere is the outermost mechanical layer of the Earth. It is made up of the crust and the top layer of the mantle called the Moho discontinuity. The lithosphere is broken up into giant tectonic plates. Scientists identify 12 major plates. The plates are named for the geographical features within them. For example, the Pacific plate is named for the Pacific Ocean. The asthenosphere is the mechanical layer below the lithosphere. All of the asthenosphere lies within the mantle. While the asthenosphere is solid, its rock is soft, like silly putty. Very slowly, the rock in the asthenosphere circulates in convection currents. Plate tectonics is the theory that the convection currents in the asthenosphere move the plates of the lithosphere around the Earth. Plate tectonics explains Alfred Bergner's theory of continental drift from 1912. Bergner believed Earth's continents were moving, but he didn't know why they moved. Bergner saw how the continents looked like the parts of a puzzle. He believed that all of the continents were once joined together in a massive supercontinent. Other evidence for continental drift included similar animals and fossils on multiple continents and rock formations that appeared to stretch across separated continents. Earth's continents aren't the only things moving. All of the tectonic plates on Earth move, including those under the oceans. Plates interact at plate boundaries. There are three types of plate boundaries, divergent, convergent, and transform. At divergent boundaries, plates move away from each other. The Mid-Ocean Ridge is a 60,000 kilometer underwater mountain range and a divergent boundary. At the Mid-Ocean Ridge, heat from the asthenosphere melts the rocks of the crust into magma. The magma rises to the surface and pushes the plates on either side of the Mid-Ocean Ridge apart. When the magma cools, it becomes new rock on the ocean floor. As one end of a tectonic plate is pushed at the Mid-Ocean Ridge, the other end of the plate collides with another plate at a convergent plate boundary. What happens at a convergent plate boundary depends on the density of the tectonic plates involved. Oceanic plates are mainly made up of basalt, so they are denser than continental plates. When an oceanic plate and a continental plate collide, the oceanic plate is forced under the continental plate at a subduction zone. As the oceanic plate subducts under the continental plate, the heat from the asthenosphere melts the crust. The magma collects in magma chambers and volcanoes form above them. The ring of fire is made up of a chain of volcanoes formed as the Pacific plate subducts under the plates around it. The Andes mountain, mountains are another chain of volcanoes that formed as the Pacific plate subducted under the South American plate. If two oceanic plates meet at a converging plate, convergent plate boundary, the denser plate will subduct under the less dense plate and form underwater volcanoes. If two continental plates meet, neither plate is dense enough to subduct under the other, so they push against each other and form mountains. Around 55 million years ago, the collision of the Indian and Eurasian plates formed the Himalayan mountains. Because oceanic crust melts at subduction zones and reforms at the mid-ocean ridge, it is much younger than the continental crust. The oldest oceanic crust is about 200 million years old. The ocean continental crust is nearly 4 billion years old. At a transform boundary, two plates slide past each other. For example, the North American and Pacific plates sliding past each other created the San Andreas Fault in California. Today, geologists can watch tectonic plates move using GPS. They use what they know about the plate's current movement to make predictions about how the plates moved in the past and how they will move in the future. Scientists have confirmed Wergner's theory that all of the continents were once combined in a supercontinent called Pangaea. Scientists believe supercontinents form and break apart about every 400 million years. Earth has seen at least three supercontinents in its history. Scientists predict the next supercontinent will form over the North Pole in about 250 million years. 
plate tectonics are always changing the earth. The end.